Some dude with a scraggly beard, almost as terrible looking as mine, once famously said, a nation divided cannot stand. If Honest Abe was somehow still standing today, he'd want to sit down because it would blow his mind how divided the country has become. Everyone's picked a side and they're sticking to it, refusing to see the world through any perspective other than their own. I'm talking, of course, about the irreconcilable divide between the left and the right. Handed. Make no mistake, it's a right-handed world. Us lefties are just forced to live in it. The discrimination is real. From scissors to cameras, power tools to kitchen utensils, us lefties have no choice but to fumble around with right-handed products. This blatant prejudice starts as early as grade school. You stick me in a right-handed desk, give me a right-handed drawing pad with a right-handed pair of scissors, and you wonder why I failed first grade art. And grades 2 through 12. If you're the type of person who thinks sexual orientation is just a matter of choice, you might be dumb enough to think the same thing about handedness. Believe me, if I could choose to be gay, I'd do it in a heartbeat because I'm sick of dealing with women's bullshit. No offense to the 10% of my viewers who are female. Love you, ladies. Just like, if I could, I'd choose to be righty. If nothing else, so I'll stop whacking elbows with every person who sits next to me at a dinner table. But me and the other 10 or so percent of people who are left-handed can't choose to be righties any more than the 10 or so percent of people who are gay can choose to be straight. And prejudice is built right into the name. In the same way that straight implies anything else is crooked or twisted, the term right-handed implies that anything else is wrong-handed. If you ask me, that ain't right. Us lefties don't have it any easier in the music world than we do in the classroom or in the world at large. If anything, being left-handed is even harder as a musician. Let me tell you a little story about a young, aspiring, left-handed musician whose naive expectations of fairness and equality got ripped right out of his soul and left for dead by this cruel, unforgiving, right-handed world. Right after you tell me in the comments if you're a righty or a lefty. As a child, I was classically trained to play the piano. Though these lessons instilled in me a deep appreciation for classical music, they also lulled me into a false sense of equality because with the piano, both hands are trained the same. In classical music, at least, they both need to be able to shred. Or whatever the piano equivalent of shredding is. All pianos are the same. There are no left or right-handed pianos. So naturally, I assumed all instruments were like that. But then, a few years later, at the age of 11, I started taking drum lessons and got a rude awakening. The first year, when I was just learning the rudiments on the snare drum, it wasn't so bad. But then when it was time to move up to the full kit, shit got weird. I mean I have to cross my arms? The hi-hat's right there. When the fuck do I have to reach over my dominant arm to hit it? This feels way more natural. Why? My drum teacher asked with boozy breath as usual. Because that's just how it's done. Most drum kits you're going to encounter are going to be set up right-handed. So it's best for you to learn how to play right-handed. Ringo Starr and Phil Collins are both lefties, but they both play righty. I thought about that for a minute. My teacher was right. Handed. But he was wrong about Ringo and Phil Collins. I mean, he might have been right about them being lefties who played righty, but he was totally wrong about me giving a shit. Of all the drummers he could have picked, he picked two that I totally thought sucked then and still do now. If my drum teacher had lied to me and told me that Neil Peart or John Bonham was a lefty who played righty, I might have cared. But this communication breakdown led me to exercise my free will by giving my Mad Dog 2020 breath drum teacher a piece of my 12-year-old mind. I told him, even though I don't think the drumming on Can't Buy Me Love is anything special, since my parents won't buy me a left-handed kit, I have no choice but to learn on a right-handed one. But just as I have no interest in learning Beatles songs like I Want to Hold Your Hand, I also don't want to hold my own hand over my dominant arm to reach the hi-hat. So you're going to teach me how to play on a right-handed kit, but with none of that stupid arm-crossing, torso-twisting bullshit. Reluctantly, my drum teacher agreed because he needed the money from lessons to fuel his raging alcoholism. Just like I had no choice but to reluctantly accept that equality wasn't a given in the music world like I'd once foolishly thought. Fortunately, my teacher was as good at teaching the drums as he was bad at hiding his day drinking, and within a couple of years got me to a level where I could play most songs. But while it'd still be years before I'd learn how to play the intro for Hot for Teacher, the most valuable thing that my hot mess of a teacher taught me was that most instruments are made for most people, just not people like me, us wrong-handed folk. While I never stopped playing the drums, I did eventually stop taking lessons. At the age of 13, 
a friend let me borrow an old, beat-up acoustic guitar. After years of taking piano and drum lessons, I was able to take everything I had learned about melody, rhythm, and harmony, and apply it to the guitar, quickly teaching myself how to play. Unfortunately, something I didn't teach myself was that they actually make left-handed guitars. Nor did I teach myself that you can take a right-handed guitar and spring it backwards, making it playable left-handed. An experienced teacher would have mentioned those things on day one. But since I'm self-taught, my first lesson was also my teacher's first. And that asshole didn't say a fucking thing about left-handed guitars. So, even though it felt a little unnatural at first, I learned to play the guitar right-handed. By the time I realized that left-handed guitars were a thing, and that many of my heroes like Kurt Cobain and Jimi Hendrix played them, I had already been playing long enough that it wouldn't have made sense to switch. So, I'd been playing right-handed guitars for nearly 30 years, and the entire time wondering how much better I'd be if I had learned to play on a left-handed guitar. But, it's probably best that I learned to play on an old, beat-up, shitty acoustic. When I was about 15, I got my first electric, a white Horner Rockwood. After hundreds of hours of practicing on the bad acoustic with hard-to-push-down strings, my fingers seemed to glide up and down the electric's fretboard with ease. But the real advantage of learning to play on that terrible acoustic? It was right-handed. So when it came time to buy a cheap electric and an even cheaper amp, I had a number of options because my local music shop sold a variety of right-handed guitars. I think they might have had like one left-handed guitar, maybe? And even if they did, it would have been way out of my price range. For us traitorous lefties who play righty, it's great. Walk into any guitar center, since they put most local music shops like the one I got my first guitar at out of business, and we can play like 98% of the guitars since they're all right-handed. And basses too, if you want to count them, since all good guitarists can easily play the bass. But for those lefties who stay true to their God-given handedness, it sucks. Walking into a guitar center for them, be like you walking into a clothing store where they have all this awesome, affordable clothing that you absolutely love, but 99% of it is not in your size. For right-handed guitarists and bassists, walking into a guitar center is like a kid walking into a candy store. For left-handed players, it's like a diabetic kid walking into a candy store. While too much candy can literally kill the diabetic kid, seeing all those awesome right-handed guitars on the wall at Guitar Center figuratively kills the left-handed guitarist. And, at least at every guitar center I've ever been to, the guitars are always on the right side of the store, further rubbing salt in the wound. In the decades since I got my first guitar, I've also learned to play a few other instruments, like the ukulele and the violin. Like with the guitar, every time I pick up my right-handed uke or my right-handed fiddle, it kills just a little piece of my left-handed soul. And since it's so awkward holding my right-handed violin, I end up with lots of scratchy-sounding notes. Just like when I was a kid, I ended up with lots of scratched records because the needle arm of every turntable is on the right. It's been a real struggle being a left-handed musician, but at least I'm in good company. From Beethoven to Bieber, there are plenty of other lefties in the music world. Not gonna lie, the Beebster has at least one song that I really like. Beethoven's got some real bangers, too. But the list doesn't end there. David Bowie, Travis Barker, Billy Ray Cyrus, Bob Dylan, Half the Beatles, A Quarter of Black Sabbath, and I'm sure there are plenty of great left-handed musicians whose names don't start with B. Although the two I already dropped, Kurt and Jimmy, are probably the only two worth mentioning. Or at least, they're the only two I can think of off the top of my script. My advice to young, aspiring, left-handed musicians is to do the right thing. Learn to play on a right-handed instrument. Sure, it might kill you on the inside a little bit every time you pick up your right-handed guitar, bass, clarinet, saxophone, or whatever. But it'll save you a ton of money and frustration. And, although you still might not be able to play many songs correctly, at least you can tell people you know how to play them right. Handed. Are you... A left-handed musician living in this cold, unforgiving, right-handed world? In the comments, tell me about your instrument, your lefty struggles, and the music you play. You're so annoying. Annoying. If you want to hear some of my music that was performed right-handed, everything except the singing, I sing lefty somehow, click the link in the description or search for this dude on Spotify, Apple Music, or wherever else you listen to right or left-handed music.